Hey, what's up guys? Benny here, and I got the awesome chance to go and play some of the new Halo 5 Arena game modes, including Capture the Flag, Breakout, and Team Slayer. So in this video, I'm going to go through everything you need to know so you can prepare for when you get your hands on Halo 5 October 27th. So, as I'm sure you're already aware, Arena is the competitive game mode on Halo 5. So if you're like me and love competition, this is easily going to be the game mode for you. At the capture event, there was a mixture of former pro Halo players and YouTubers, which made it tons of fun. The first game mode I got to play was Capture the Flag on Coliseum, which sadly was also my first loss. Not really the start I was hoping for, but every game type that you play within Arena is 4v4 and that makes communication with your team vital. The objective of Capture the Flag is to be the first team to score 3 flags or have the most flag captures after 12 minutes. As you can see when you spawn up in the game, getting the power weapons right at the start gives you a huge advantage. So make sure you try and go for the rockets on Colosseum in particular, as not only do you get the rockets, it also gives you an aerial advantage, so you can see where all the enemy team are. You'll also be able to pick up some quick and easy kills with a rocket launcher, something that I failed to do as my shot, being completely honest, was all over the place. One really neat feature which comes in real handy is that weapon spawns now have an in-game timer, so you no longer have to try and remember how long it has till it spawns up so that you can see how long until the rockets are up again so you know when you need to start rotating to gain control of the spawn point to help you capture that extra flag. Another thing you're going to find extremely helpful is that when you grab the flag you're able to use your magnum so you're not completely defenseless like you were in previous games when you've got the flag. Capture the flag still has its awesome moments, close calls and epic flag runs but one of my favorite game types is the new game mode Breakout. Breakout is 4v4, best of 11 rounds, one life per round, and is perhaps one of the most intense Halo experiences I've ever had. Not only do you only have one life per round, you have no shield, so if you go and make a single mistake, you're more than likely going to end up dead and waiting for the next round to start. Now, this game mode is where tactics and communication is key. Everyone starts with an SMG and Magnum, then there's a few weapons dotted around the map, like the DMR, which I personally always try to grab, but it's important to try and gain map control at the start of every round, unless you do some crazy tactic like rush down the middle of the map when they least expect it, which can surprisingly work or go terribly wrong, which is why I really love this game mode. To win a round, you either need to kill all of the opposing team or you take the flag in the middle of the map to the opposing team's base. I have to say it starts getting really nervy when you end up being the last man standing against two or three opponents, especially when it's the round that you need to win to win the game. We then got to play Team Slayer, which is perhaps the game mode that every single Halo player will have played at some time or another. It's the bread and butter of first person shooters, and we got to play it on the rig. One thing I have to say is once again, like Capture the Flag, try and gain control of the power weapons, such as the sniper rifle. Then just stick together as a team and try and work together to pick up kills quickly. But guys, that was my first hands-on experience of Halo 5 Arena. I cannot wait till it comes out October 27th. Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more Halo 5 gameplay coming right here on Xbox On. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.